everyone, Allie here, and welcome to the gold mine. Thank you for joining me here on another episode at Allie's Treasure Trove. Now, today's episode is the last real episode here on the channel for 2020. Crazy enough, we are going to be in 2021 by the end of this week. I'm not having a regular upload on Thursday, although you may see we have a special bonus video, but this is our last like true content video for the year. And I'm going to be doing something fun just for myself. I'm going to be opening up and doing a little, little opening and review here of this brand new Nendroid number 1355. There's a lot of Nendroids out there. Can you imagine collecting them all? That'd be ridiculous. But we do have Soji Okita here from Hakuoki. Now, Hakuoki is an Atome game set in uh, older Japan, I think during the Edo period, uh, where you are part of the Shinsengumi. Well, you're not part of the Shinsengumi, but anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I am a big Atome fan. Uh, I don't believe we really have the target audience for Atome games here, although I did actually pick some up. This is all uh, right here. These are some Christmas gifts to myself here. Uh, I have some Otome Switch games here. Code Realize, Future Blessings, and Café Enchanté, which I've never heard of before, but it seemed cool from the synopsis on the back of that game. Uh, but it is visual novel dating sim, basically. I don't know, sounds good to me, but part of the Japanese Shinsengumi and all the different characters you're able to romance. Uh, Soji here is one of them. Soji actually, uh, for being the first Hakuoki Nendroid uh, Good Smile Maid is actually my uh, le least favorite choice. Uh, nothing against his character. I just, I don't really get along with his personality. He's not for me. Uh, although, of course, I do feel bad for him. Spoiler alert for the Hakuoki series, just about everybody dies. If you get the bad ending for your, your route, uh, they're going to die anyways, but just about everybody except the one person you end up with dies, uh, which is mainly historically accurate because these are based off real people that did exist, so it's a bit weird, but I like it, whatever. But anyway, uh, yeah, he has tuberculosis before they knew what tuberculosis was. Uh, but yes, we do have Soji here. Like I said, not my favorite choice here, but Good Smile made Hakuoki product. In order to encourage them to make more Hakuoki product, uh, I bought it. And I did go ahead and pick this up at Anime Fix. I'll put their logo on screen there. Hopefully I don't forget and have to export this video multiple times because that always happens. But like I said, today we're going to be opening up, checking him out, and doing a little review on him. And I'll show you guys off these games that I picked up. Uh, like I said, a little Christmas gift to myself. Found them at Best Buy. I didn't realize Best Buy carried this kind of stuff. And then I was like, oh, they look interesting. I believe actually the same artist that does Hakuoki did the Code Realize. Uh, it doesn't say, I actually am not familiar with the artist's name, I just recognize the style. And Café Enchanté has a different uh, art style, but it is by the same company, Automate. So, we'll look at those, I won't open them, obviously I'm, I don't have the Switch with me, I can't play any of it. But, if you guys would care to see any of that in 2021, let me know, I'd be down to play it here on the channel. Uh, these are both rated T, Hakuoki's rated M, because of blood violence and lots of death. But, actually, my best friend did go ahead and buy me the two newest Hakuoki, I believe, uh, Edo Blossoms and Kyoto Winds. Uh, so, actually, I can romance my preferred partner, Crazy Science Man, Sanan -san. I'd be willing to do that on the channel as well. So, like I said, I don't think any of you would actually care. But anyways, let's go ahead, switch places here. This is the first video I'm filming on Monday. I like to film my personal channel stuff first. I'm opening up on the brand new Secret Lair Chromatic Lantern playmat. Adorable. I love it. I love the art. These things already are pretty expensive. It's like they were print to order. It's like you guys had two weeks to order them, but these are already like 60 bucks. It's kind of crazy. But all right, that's not what we're here for. Like I was saying, this is Nendroid 1355. Soji Okita. Of course, wearing his blue uniform. All right, with his sword. Let's look at the box. It's got a couple different face plates, as it looks like, different hands so he can hold the sword and whatnot. Uh, in good taste, it doesn't seem like there's any blood coughing hands, which is much appreciated. Like I said, even though he's not uh, my preferred, just I don't vibe with him at all. Uh, that would be too rude. I'd be very hateful if Good Smile did that. But anyways, like I said, did pick this up from Anime Fix. Uh, definitely very good shape here. Anime Fix is a store located in St. Pete, Florida, down on Central Avenue. I always put their website and whatnot in the description if you want to go ahead and check them out. Don't know that they had more than one Soji, but Bobby the owner is awesome and he will do his best to try and find one for you if you would be interested in that. Now let me get my tiny knife here. I use Tiniest Knife to cut that seal because Tiniest Knife is a sharp knife. 
Tiniest knife, or a tiny knife is not particularly sharp, but that's good because I poke myself too much. Well, that's cool. My first Nendroid campaign. Show off your collection for a chance to win the latest Nendroids. Entry period. All right, so from uh, April 2019 through December 2020. Kind of cutting it close here. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, we have a little instruction booklet. It gives us what pieces. We have A, the main body, the I and J. We have the two extra face plates. B is the katana. We have an arm. We have a hand. E, I can't quite tell what it is offhand. F and G, more arms. H, another hand. K. And then on how to do those equipments, the little stand. Oh, it's an extra leg. Interesting. But all right, let's go ahead and take him out. I was like, make sure I'm recording. That'd be super awkward if I'm not. I'm always worried for some reason that I'm not recording. It's only happened a couple of times, but still. All right, let's go ahead, remove this part. But yeah, Hakuuk, yeah, I got into it not knowing it was going to be as sad as it was. I was like, oh, geez, this is, this is not fun, but I love it. But, all right, let's go ahead. And pop this out here. Here's his regular face. Soji kind of always has like an uwu face going on. It's kind of an a-hole though. And by kind of an a-hole, I mean really an a-hole. Like I said, not my thing. But it does have the little kind of like uwu face. Very nice hair. Does have his little bun in the back. Not sure what the proper terminology for it is, but... Let's go ahead and remove, I guess. Uh, can we take his head off? Should be able to take his head off. I was like, I need to be able to take his head off for removing all these plastic pieces. That's cool that the sword hilts come off. And it looks like, all right, makes sense. Go ahead, take the body pieces off. All right, this is actually more deconstructible than I expected. I guess since you are able to change the leg, it makes sense. To having a bent knee. There's the body. Well, there are the legs. Waist. Upper body. Oh, okay. That's interesting how the pieces are like that. I like that. So he has the swords tucked in. And instead of all being attached to the body part, uh, the actual like sheath is on the attached to the coat. Interesting, interesting. I do like the how these pop off. That's actually really cool. Better than them being stuck on there and then breaking because you accidentally smacked it. That is actually much appreciated. I think I did those backwards. No, actually, it looks okay. That one's kind of at an angle. All right. Let's put Soji's head back on. Before I do that, though, we take his hair off. So we get all the plastic. And hopefully I'll remember... Like a bald Soji. Hopefully I'll remember which piece goes where so I can keep them in box with all of us. All plasticed up. Alright. There he is. Very cute figure. He is a handsome person. Like I said, just don't like his personality. But, uh, you know, if you're, if you got hip, I mean, like I said, tuberculosis is not fun. Especially when uh, they didn't know what it was. Doctors are like, I don't know, but we think you're dying. <laughs> but... There's his body. All right, let's go ahead and switch the face plates. There is more of an aggressive and a happier face plate. That is what the back crevice of his head looks like. I like how it's numbered two, face plate number two. All right, aggressive. Aggressive bold soji here. Go ahead and get that on, see what that looks like. Ready to fight. Makes sense. That's what he's here to do. He's here to kill people. And let's have that happier face. All smiles. Aw. I like that one too. I'm not a big fan of the aggressive face normally because I just don't like my figures to have aggressive faces. That does look really cute. I am very pleased with this figure. Like I said, I just wish they'd make other characters. But I want to encourage Good Smile to continue making more Hakuoki characters. And I think I'm one, I am the odd person out here. I think Okita, or Soji Okita, is one of the most popular. I'm not sure who the most, like the actual number one popular is. I don't know if it's Soji, Saito, or Yashikata. But, uh, not Sanan-san. 
<laughs> I know that for a fact. Roast me in the comments down below for liking sometimes evil scientist man, sometimes misunderstood scientist man. I'm excited to actually play Kyoto Wins to follow his route. Actually learn what is up with that dude. Learn more about him, get nice artwork. There is Soji holding a cherry blossom. Let me set him down so we can actually look at the extra hand here. My hand looks so big compared to his hand. HD alley hand texture. But I like that, that is cute. Let me put that on. Actually, both the uh, Hakoki games are on Steam sale right now. I think they're 75% off, so they're only like five bucks a piece. I'll link those in the description as well if you want to check them out. Like I said, I don't think uh, you guys are the target audience for this. I'm curious. I know actually on the main channel, Titan Cards, if you're not aware, I'll throw that link somewhere on screen. Also, of course, always linked in the description. But I know Alpha, Rudy from Alpha Investments, well, Rudy is Alpha Investments, always talks about his 3.6969% uh, female viewership. I'm pretty sure we have like 1% or less on the main channel. What's the female? <laughs> uh, let's, all right. It is just straight up 100% male viewers. I mean, I know, I know there's a handful of girls. Sylvia comments every now and then. 100% um, straight male, not straight male. And I'm not generalizing. I'm saying just straight up 100% male viewership. The percentage of female viewership is so low on the channel that it just registers a 0%. So yeah, of course, I don't think anyone will care about this video, but I'm having a good time. Hit this... Hit that like button for Allie having a good time making content. Oop, I pulled off his whole arm there. And Androids are very delicate, but the good thing is all the pieces go back where you want them to most of the time. All right, we have an open hand, so he is able to hold swords. Also has his book that he likes to read as an extra piece. Let's go ahead and put his normal arm back on before I forget, though. I don't want to lose it. I'm going to go ahead and get out his sword. Stick it into his hand, see how that works. That actually doesn't work very well. There we go, if I put it in from the top, it works. So he's able to hold. Slides right in. Very nice. But I am impressed with this figure. I'm liking it a lot more than I thought I would. Like I said, character's not my preference, but great figure regardless. I'm not going to untape those in there, but you do have the book and an extra hand and a fist here. And then here is the bent knee. Looks like it goes on the right leg. Let me take apart the body pieces. Oh, maybe not. What do we have going on here? All right, interesting. Ah, okay, that looks like a dummy peg to hold the leg. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, actually, it is the left one. My original, I mean, the picture said it was the left one. So it makes sense that it is actually the left one. But it was just distract. I was distracted by his sandals. Ah, okay, okay. All right, let's. Oop. Reconstructing Soji's body. He's got his leg up. That's cute. I like that too. Looks like he's running. That is cute. I don't know that I've actually seen. I mean, I don't have too many Nendroids. I mean, I have a really decent amount of Nendroids. Um, I might be doing more individual Nendroid unboxings. I do have several JoJo ones. I do have Card Captor ones. I actually have Rosen Maiden ones as well. Those are older though. But that'd be cool, actually. I don't think I've seen adjustable legs. So to have them on the stand, I think that's actually a pretty unique or, or at least not very common feature in Nendroids. So I like that a lot. Really like the creativity with the accessories. I do like the face plates. Even the aggressive one where I was saying I'm usually not a fan of aggressive faceplates. 
I actually like all of the face plates this time around. That I wouldn't I still wouldn't use it aside from the occasional picture taking. But I do like it a lot. More than I initially expected I would. Cause it does fit his demeanor. Which so it makes sense. Alright, let's get that hilt back on. Like I said, I really appreciate Good Smile having it, that they're detachable. Because I feel like if they weren't, I would have 100% broken it already. Alrighty. There he is, normal Soji. Let's look through that booklet once again, just to see if there's anything we missed. All the different arm pieces that you can adjust. The hands. There's how to change the face plates. There, how to use the brace. Contents, how to attach parts. Alright, shrink resistant plug. Oh, okay, that's why that's in there. So I guess the hole doesn't with any kind of temperature changes. Um, of course, if you're keeping collectibles, I always recommend keeping it in climate controlled housing or at least storage. I uh, wouldn't store collectibles in no AC, especially if you're in Florida. Might be able to get away with it up north, but I, I still wouldn't recommend it. But um, temperature changes would, I guess, affect the plastic. That makes sense. But yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a, a different foot peg before. If you've seen a Nendroid with a foot peg that's a, that you can adjust the leg, let me know in the comments because I'm really curious. This is not a feature I am too familiar with. But I am very pleased with my Soji Nendroid, much more, like I said, than I expected. So, actually, giving Soji here a 10 out of 10. Didn't expect to like him this much. Very cute, very cute. Definitely, fingers crossed that Good Smile makes the rest of the gang here. That would be wonderful. Um, they cannot make Kazuma or any of them. I, I don't care too much. Again, well, I, let's see. Who do I like less, Kazuma or Soji? I don't know. I feel like they're kind of a tie for the like bottom tier for me. But perhaps playing Kyoto Winds and Edo Blossoms would change my mind. Because it really depends on the routes. Also, I know when I actually, when I first played, I have the PSP game. That's my That was my first introduction to Hakoki. And when I played that... I, I, I didn't use a walkthrough or anything like that. Because it is, you know, your choices affect what happens to you in-game and the different what characters fall in love with you. I know you guys don't care. But since that affects everything, I, on my blind playthrough, I ended up with the young man whose name is off the... I always forget people's names when I'm recording. And then as soon as I turn the camera off, I'm like, wow, I'm stupid. It was so-and-so. I have lost the hilt. Here's the hilt. Hilt was off camera somehow. I ended up with the younger, younger man. And I was like, how did I get here? But in that route, uh, Soji was not the nicest. Sanan was kind of normal. Kind of. Uh, Sanan is like not normal. Well, till the end. And then, and then I replayed it. Chose a little bit differently because there are places where I'm like, ah, I could have picked either one. And I ended up with uh, Higashikata. And I can't remember actually which one now. It's been many, many years since I played. Uh, which one, San An San, was actually not a good guy. Um, I feel like 50-50 whether he's like okay or not okay. But I remember playing through the game. I was like, oh, can I can I choose this dude? It's like the one. It's like they get they give you a whole a whole bunch of options, and I'm like, I want that one over there. How about that one? They're like, no. I'm like, oh, okay. But now I have that possibility. So like I said, if that's something you'd like to see me do here on the channel. I know when I've mentioned game playthroughs before, you guys are probably like, this is not what I anticipated. Allie, why would you do this? Because uh, I want to. But let me know your thoughts if that would be something you guys would be interested in for 2021. Because we are wrapping up this video here. Let me go ahead and put Soji back in his plastic confinement center. That's okay, Soji, I got you. Only clean air inside my Nendroid packages. Alright, something I feel like is not in place properly. Everything looks okay, though. Probably just not put up. Oh, I, I just wasn't pushing hard enough. Makes sense. Alright, so that's all set. So let's go ahead, put him back in the box. And then I will... 
show off my Switch games, because I said I would do that, and then did not do that. And then I'll give my final thoughts on Nendroid Soji Okita. But these are the two games that I did pick up. Cafe Enchanté, where you inherit your grandfather's Tokyo Cafe, but it's a magic cafe of different magical creatures and characters and government people. Had good reviews on Amazon. I was looking on Amazon. I was like, huh, I've never heard of this one. I have heard of Code Realize. I actually own uh, a Code Realize game for the PS4 that I haven't had a chance to play yet. I've heard good things about Code Realize, though. But I have never heard of Café Enchanté before. So that'll be interesting to see. I don't know anything about the storyline for Code Realize, but in the... This is my one Discord that I participate. Discord is not does not do it for me. There's just too much going on. I'm in an Alice in the Country of whatever Alice Country Heart Spade Diamond Clover anything. But that whole series, there's like a very small Discord. There's like it has to be less than fifty people. Usually about like fifteen active people at any given time at the most. There's just too many beeps. I can't handle it. Like I'll check regularly for like two weeks and then I'll have to like step away for eight months because I just can't handle it. But they were talking about other games and I, I'm pretty sure I've heard, I'm, well, I've read a couple of them mention Code Realize. So I trust their word for it. Uh, because it, 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 it was Quinrose, the Alice in the Country of Hearts, etc. Uh, did get bought out, was bought out by Otomate. Otomate was able to pick up those properties that Quinrose uh, went out of business several years ago. Uh, there's an Alice in the Country of Spades coming out uh, in Japan. I don't know if they'd localize it. I mean, that's like way too many games in to just start bringing them over, but I'd definitely be down if they did that. I mean, I, I was planning on picking up Japanese games anyways, and I can struggle through those when those come out. Unfortunately, Akira Ishida is no longer the VA for Joker, and I was very upset about that, but the new Joker VA is the VA of Jonathan Joestar. So I made this really crappy paint meme. I, I took Jonathan Joestar and I put Joker's face on it. And I, I renamed my, I put that as my profile picture. So if any of you are like, oh, I know who you are, whatever. Uh, and I, I renamed myself Jonathan Joker Star. And that was the last time I was on. I was like, all right, I need to take a break. <laughs> I hate Discord, you guys. I just can't. I, I'm not. I'm not down with the Discord. Anyways, that was completely off topic. We are here. I'm going to go ahead and switch places again, so I can give you guys my final thoughts on Soji here. Very impressed with it. I like the accessories. I like the adjustable parts. I like the knee bent knee leg switcheroo. The face plates. I actually do enjoy all three face plates. Uh, two of them more than the third, but. I still actually really like them. I like the cherry blossom. I like the notebook. I like how he can actually hold his sword like very well. Stays in, not too loose, not too tight either, where I felt like I was pushing on it too much. Appreciate that. These sword hilts do come off so I don't break them. You might lose them, but they're not broken. You'll eventually find it in one piece as long as you don't vacuum it up. And I did not try out the stand, but I've never actually had a problem with any Good Smile Nendroid stand, so I'm assuming that's fine. So I actually give Soji here 10 out of 10, very impressed, and very actually pleased to add him to my collection. And when I first bought him, I was like, begrudgingly bought him. But I actually am really glad to have him, and I'm so, so, so hopeful that Good Smile does make the rest of the characters here. Like, I know there's a decent amount of people, like, you play as the character, her name is Chizuru. Uh, don't care for her? I think she's cool. Like, I don't care. Sure, I'll be Chizuru, whatever. Yes, but... Don't know what other girls or gentlemen that'd be interested in a visual novel, romance, dating, Japanese samurais. Not quite samurais, but... Definitely recommend Hakoki. Like I said, they are on sale for Steam, so I guess this is kind of like a relatable video, a winter Steam sale. Like I said, those links should be in the description. If you want to go ahead and check it out, just want to see more of what the game's about, because I, I didn't give you guys really a great summary. Uh, it's like Rogue One, but Japan. Yeah, I mean, everybody, just about everybody dies. 
Not for the faint of heart. Don't get too attached. But if you get attached, it hurts more and it's better. Words of wisdom? Not sure about that one. But that will actually do it here for this episode here on Allie's Treasure Trove. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, uh, smack that like button for me having fun. Smack that like button too. If you guys enjoyed it as well, I of course hope to make content you guys enjoy. I know not everything on the channel will be for everybody, but that is why we have so much variety here. I'm sure you guys are bound to find at least one type of segment here that you enjoy. But that is it. Like I said, our last real episode here for 2020. I will, of course, catch you guys in 2021 with that new channel introduction video. Make sure to keep your eyes peeled on Thursday for a special bonus video. You may notice something is different in the background. The trees are gone. Perhaps the video has something to do with me putting the trees away. Big sad. I hate taking down Christmas decorations because they're, they're so cool while they're up. But that's what makes them special when you get them decorated, put them up keeps that feeling alive for next year because if you just left them up all year it wouldn't matter anymore just like if there's a food you like if you eat it too much it kind of gets boring makes sense makes sense but that will do it for me here today thank you so much for watching everyone i hope you all enjoyed it whether this was your first time or if you've been back make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see more nendroid openings in the future are there different types of nendroids you'd like to see i do have a lot of the star wars ones as well go ahead and leave your thoughts for future segments here on the channel in the comment section down below and that will do it here i keep saying that it's just one of those days. And you know what? That's okay. Not every video is going to be 100% perfect. But I will be back, like I said, next year. Make sure to join me as we unearth some more treasures here on Allie's Treasure Trove. Thank you for watching, everyone. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a happy new year. And I'll catch you in January. Bye.